Locally, there are calls for police reform and racial equality. People were marching in the pouring rain today to have their voices heard. As WBZ's Christina Rex reports, event organizers say that Chauvin's conviction is only the start. Organizers of today's protest tell me they breathed a sigh of relief following Derek Chauvin's conviction, only to find out moments later of another fatal officer-involved shooting in Ohio. That frequency, they tell me, is why they're out marching in the streets. Black lives no. They marched to and from Boston Police Headquarters. <laughs> through the thunder and pouring rain. The truth of the matter is, is black folks are dying in rain, snow, sunshine on a Sunday. It doesn't matter. Organizer Monica Cannon Grant says there is a reason to celebrate Derek Chauvin's conviction in Minneapolis. So when I say make some noise, but that hope is clouded by the knowledge that more than 300 people have been killed by police in the U.S. this year. People want us to be happy for the small amount of accountability that we got yesterday, but there is no justice. George Floyd is gone. There are hundreds that are gone and how many that we don't even know about that weren't filmed. Meanwhile, in Minneapolis Wednesday, people leave flowers at the spot where George Floyd died as his killer sits in a restrictive housing unit separated from other prisoners awaiting his murder sentence in eight weeks. In D.C., the U.S. Justice Department announced a probe into the Minneapolis police. It will include a comprehensive review of the Minneapolis Police Department's policies, training, supervision, and use of force investigations. Back in Boston, protesters partially blocked the street as they chanted to police officers looking down from headquarters. And these protesters say there's still a lot of work to be done. Just because one police officer uh, is now going to go to jail doesn't mean that racism is over. And a number of bills are making their way through Congress right now that would overhaul America's policing system, including a proposal that would reform qualified immunity for police. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News.